Never knew a moment could feel so right Could slow down time like this Hold me under the stars Cause what's mine could be yours if you want it You make me so bold Hi Leos, welcome to my channel, we're doing a reading. It's Tarot After Dark, upgraded version. We have some props, but this one is not a props. I have to be mellow, but I'm excited because this one is the Rosemary Sage. Okay, it is out and it's finally here. All right, hold on, I'm gonna do your reading. Let me do my marketing, okay? <laughs> But besides the marketing plan cell, what is it? Well, this is a 100% soy, hand-poured, okay? We make this by hand. And also, okay, what's special about this is you can read the story, okay, of each scent. Salbiadora.com. Mm, that smells good. Mm, I can smell it here. Okay. <laughs> no, seriously. Okay. And I even have the sniffles. Um salbidar.com even though you don't purchase it i don't mind but read the story because i love telling stories and you know in the in the, the blog made it made it possible um for me to put my creative juices and then you know give you some sort of inspiration you know for maybe you're just on the road right now and you want to read something so check that out and then you can also get this now on you know same thing you can go to salbidar.com or at eatreadlove.me each of the candle I put there, which zodiac is best for? Oh my god. <laughs> so this is number 10. Okay. So just like you, number 10. So, okay. So that's that. All right. So check that out. It's out now. Now, since it's hand poured, um, we can't make um, you know a lot of quantity. So first come first first dibs. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. Let's focus on your love life, and then later on more marketing. <laughs> come on, I enjoy doing that. Okay, I was part of a sales team in insurance before. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Oh, my monitor is falling off. You know, let's move it here. Wow, today. It's is trying to fight me okay don't fight me nobody won okay stay <laughs> here we go mm, emperor okay try to also watch the soulmate reading um that one if you're connected with a soulmate and you know that one is showing some twin journey i you will see what i explain how i explain the twin journey in those readings okay so do um stay tuned for that it goes up it goes up early and this one goes out at night here we go for my leos okay. okay two of pentacles busy bee busy bee okay for the leos is going to be wondering if i haven't greeted you happy birthday you know later on I follow sidereal, so it means the sun is still in Cancer, just to give you guys a heads up. It just entered Cancer. Two of Pentacles. Um, it feels like you are tempting someone or being tempted. Like, you yourself is thinking, hmm, maybe I should message. This is not a sword, but since you're you're busy and you're looking back, you're looking behind... It feels like, hmm, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. So you're in limbo. Mm -hmm. You're in limbo here. At the back of your head, you're still thinking about them. Okay. At the back of your head, 
relationship is what you want, but you know, you got yourself in a job where it's just busy. You know, you're back and forth, you could be driving, you know, for work, that m might be your work. Mm -hmm. um, or, you know, you're always out in the road. You ha you're doing different things for your parents, different things for your family. And it feels like you're looking back and it's like, where has time gone? Because I never heard from them. I haven't, you know, seen them. And they haven't texted me and they don't even wonder what I'm doing. And I'm busy over here. So, you busy boo. Okay. Shake that air. <coughs> Whoop! <laughs> Is that a song? Show me what you got. Shake. <laughs> it looks like she's going for it though. Mm -hmm. Or maybe she's doing some work, 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 work. Mm -hmm. Ooh. See, I told you. They haven't spoken to you. They have the hermit. You're wondering what is this you know what's up with this person? Why they're scared, you know? Why are they scared to talk to you? I feel like there's a sense of being ashamed after, you know, being distant for quite some time. Um, they don't know. They really don't know how to get back anymore. The hermit uh feels like they're trying to avoid you. They're trying to avoid any kind of um um how to say this? Any kind of contact. They have one eyes open and one eyes closed, so it only means that they have fears. That they fear that if you know, like they close their eyes and then it's done. So they cannot let go. Mm-hmm. They can't let go. I thought I'm working overnight. Brownie over there is still working overnight. He's so adorable. He loves to bark. Mm -hmm. Scared to lose you. I feel like they're still, uh, they still pry on you. Still um, stalking in a way. You know, keeps themselves distant from you. It can be Virgo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got the moon card. Mm. Their feelings, their emotions, their thinking, you know, themselves is still att attached. Mm. Now the moon, of course, is uh, secrets, hidden, mystery. Can be a Cancerian. Can be Pisces also. They feel like the two of you were just playing a game before, like no one was being honest. So they didn't feel the depth of the relationship. They didn't feel the commitment. They didn't take it seriously also. That's one thing. Their fear, well now it's a regret. They're regretting that why they didn't take it serious. Why did not take it serious? Ace of Pentacles. They were greedy. With this opportunity i feel like you got what you needed meaning you're busy you're doing a lot of things in their li in your life they they took away the opportunity for you guys to build a relationship i feel like the two of pentacles would have gone to um three of pentacles but they hold on to this they're very protective they're they're not easy to talk to closed off distant like it's like you're talking to a wall. Sometimes you're talking to a rock. Sometimes you're talking to a pavement. Like, no reaction. Yeah. And this is how you felt also. It's a waste of my time, Sal. 
Oh boy, oh boy, sir. It was a waste. That's what happened there. Waste of your time. That's what you're saying. It's a waste of my time. I don't see anything progressing here. Four of Cups. Eight of Swords. You're giving up. Because mm -hmm. you're telling you know yourself, it's like, if I'm going to go with this person, you know, again, I'd rather jump off this and then, you know, you know, face my demise, basically. If I were to give this another chance. So you're giving up because you know that they are greedy. I mean, like, I really don't understand why they never really put effort or want to put the same effort as what you were doing. Five of Wands. So the person makes everything difficult, do they, Leos? Mm -hmm. They like to make things complicated. They're not confused though. So this is a person who has a lot of reasons. Hard to work with. Very hard to work with. Magician with the moon. Always cooking something, I feel. So the person is always hiding. I'm not sure what they hide, but definitely with the moon, secrets. Also being a smart A. The machine is a smart A. Five of Pentacles. Always coming in and out of nowhere, texting, calling you out of nowhere, like a peekaboo, I see you. But giving you nothing. Because they have this. I feel like you guys were in, in, were, were in the process to fix a relationship. But then they ghosted you. And then now you're realizing, okay, well that was a waste of time. Never gonna do that again. Four of Pentacles. I feel like you're scared to open up. You're telling yourself, I'm not going to open up anymore to this person. So they've ghosted me how many times? Like just the sight and thought of them in my inbox or them showing up in my doorstep. It just freaks me out. Now it's a pterodactyl. Yeah. It feels like I'm in Jumanji also. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. In the jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the lion jungle. Ten of Wands. Oh, this person do say that they t they did a lot of work with you. Mm, they had to put a lot. They didn't give much. And yet, they say that you were so difficult. They put up uh, they put up with it. Is that the term? They put up a lot. That's what they keep saying. They put up a lot with you. Okay. Okay. The chariot. It looks like this person has left you and took every little thing in the relationship as it was them doing the right thing every time. And you didn't do anything. You were too busy with work. You were too that. You didn't give them focus. Again, you can't flip the situation. You don't have to justify. The cards is a paper, so do not attack. The card is not attacking. Remember, this is how they're saying this. But you did it. Okay. So we're having a blame game here. The reason why they left is that you never did anything for them. Nine of Pentacles, because you were acting like you were single. This is what this person is saying. You acted like you were single. You didn't care about them. They didn't feel no warm. Hangman. And that's you saying, it's like, I've compromised so much for this person. 
As for me, hangman is a compromising position. Um, you tried to always look at the better of the relationship. You tried to look for the good of this relationship. So we're getting a blame game. Queen of Wands, and you know that's you. Mm. So you're getting blamed. Ooh, I was gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna summarize the read. You have the star card. Okay. So let me see what this work. What is this about? The star card. Okay. So there's something that you want. There's something that you need from this person. There's something that you're wishing for from this person. This is a card of reconciliation then. Okay. So how it all started here is that there was a person who was scared to commit. And you kind of know that because they always ghost you. They also never give, give you this unofficial title. And you got scared and you got shocked. Because if you knew, if you knew it, then you wouldn't waste your time. Both of you were just acting for the relationship. Well, they did this, well, they do that. This is also the blame game that you guys have. One of the biggest blame was who really did put energy in the relationship. Because as soon as this person says, well, I'm doing it, Sal, they left. But with the magician and the five of wands, I feel like they were just saying that they did all the work, but what they did was all the trouble. You don't want to talk to them right now. You're too busy. You're independent. Nine of Pentacles. But you feel stuck. Because deep inside you, you still wish that you guys are together. Mm -hmm. You got Aqua. You got Leo, you got Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, you got Cancer, you got Cancer, Pisces, you got Virgo, okay? So those are what I can see. In the extended, I'll change it, meaning, not what I'll see, I'll change the spread, meaning I will continue this reading, but I will do another read, a whole spread, and then get, give you guys the focus card. So we'll dig deeper into the situation on how this whole, I blame you, they ghosted you, you know, the works, you know, what, whatever you guys have seen here on YouTube, we'll dive, dive deeper there, okay? So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Make sure, guys, you already go down to salbiador.com, okay, for my wonderful, wonderful, um, how to say this, um, uh, soy candles um, for different zodiacs so just check it out and also stay tuned because next to this is gonna be a divination okay that you have never seen so now you're here again knocking at my door a little too late for I'm sorry for the lights went out cause you Kept cutting the cord and I started to